So I'm working to uh, build my real ACC uh, X210 with the Ombius uh, F3 Pro. Um, and this works on the F4 too. I've got uh, so. Um, but I um, uh, just want to show how I've got the real ACC now. And I am going to change it around because I think it'll be a better fit and a lighter weight, less wire. Um, so right now. I've got the battery straps coming through the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that's also going to be a big risk with the um, cutting the battery strap. Also, um, if you'll see, I've got this the the PDB really really close to the bottom. There's no way uh, you're going to be able to get that strap out without uh, changing um, or lifting the whole thing up to change a new strap. So I decided I didn't want to have to do that. Um, also, um, if you look here, um, I've also got the PDB. Uh, this is the front, and this is the back, and the PDB coming out the side. Of course, I wouldn't be able to run my uh, XT60 here because with the Ombius um, uh, uh, F3 Pro, you're going to have to run the battery lead to the uh, flight board first, and I'll show that later on in the video. Um, but uh, what I have decided, first of all, I want the, I'm going to have the XT60 come out the back. So I was going to do that anyways, but I was going to run the wire uh, from here to there. Uh, but, you know, that's going to add extra wire, which adds extra weight. So uh, you'll see here in a few minutes on this video, I'll be updating after I uh, rechange the board around. But I am going to turn the PDB around. I'm also going to have a different way to mount my um, uh, battery strap to where you can easily change it out uh, uh, if you break it in the field. Um, so uh, I'm going to cut away here, do my adjustments, move the board around, uh, and then we'll uh, go from there and I'll be right back. Be off, uh, and you will notice that uh, the wire strap is right through there. Um, so it would be a very hard to uh, get that off. So um, I'll pull that off. I uh, just wanted to show you the PDB as I've got it off. So um, just to make sure that there is no uh, no possible shorts, I do black tape the bottom of the PDB. And then also what I have done, is made these little uh, standoffs with my 3D printer for the bottom of the PDB. Now, with having that straight line across there, when this is up under the PDB, uh, like so, let's see here if I can get it on camera. If it is up under the PDB like this, right here, uh, if you'll notice, there's a channel through there that's going to give me uh, great, um, make it really easy, easy to slide a new strap up through there. Um, and as far as the uh, the straps go, um, they're going to come on the outside. I'm also going to clean this off a little bit with the grinder, uh, with the drimmer, Dremel, uh, just to make sure that I'm not cutting straps there. But once again, if I cut straps. I will be able to slide it right up under the PDB. So, um, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. All right, so I've got the PDB wired up um, in order to feed power to the battery, or from the PDB to the battery and the flight controller. Um, so, um, I wanted to show this off, uh, how I've got it um, before I tape it up, because a little black tape goes a long way um, in order to keep it from shorting out on the frame. So I am not scared to use the black tape. Um, I mean, I guess it could cause a little bit more weight, but, you know, uh, a few things breaking um, in a crash could be the point of just replacing that one component or replacing all your components. So don't be scared of this black tape. But, um, so I just wanted to show you, I've got the bottom, this is going to be going straight out to the battery, um, into the PDB. Um, this wire is actually going uh, to be the, 
the power that goes from the flight controller to the PDB because with the Pro Edition, because uh, it has a voltage, uh, I mean a, a current monitor, you have to feed the battery into the flight controller first. So um, we will uh, let me cut away. I'll get it on the copter, show it after it's taped up, and uh, throw the flight controller on top uh, just to show you where it's going to go. I'm still waiting on some wires to finish up my flight controller, so because um, I don't want to use them plastic wires that comes with the VTX. So, um, all right, I wanted to show that off to you. I'm gonna put it on the quadcopter, and I'll be back. All right, I just show wanted to show some of the things that I've uh, taped up um, before I get the PDB on. Um, I did take extra precaution uh, to tape up right here where the battery lead is going to be coming out. Um, you know. Just extra cautious little bit of tape and then right in here that way when the battery uh, comes over um, the uh, XT60 comes over right here you got a little bit more to even though I did round off the corners hopefully that'll be even a little bit more protection to keep that wire from getting cut there um, so tape that up uh, also uh, just to double protect itself uh, I did tape up around this spot right here Around just to make sure that everything is fine. Um, also, uh, the power wire from the flight controller will be coming um, through either on this side of it or this side of it. I haven't decided yet. I'll see when I start putting it together. Um, but because uh, both of your XT6 is going to have to come out, I mean, both of your wires for the positive are going to have to come out the back. Um, so, alrighty. Uh, I'll cut away and do show off. Um, got my flight controller mounted. Uh, well, partially mounted anyway, just to show you how um, how this works now. So you've got your uh, your ground wire out right here. You've got your two your battery input and battery output uh, for your current sensor right here. If you can see it there. So uh, of course this wire is too long. I'm gonna have to cut it, and uh, I'll mount that straight onto uh, right. That one's that one right there. And I'll mount it straight to that side of the uh, uh, current sensor. Um, and then also from here I'll have to run off the power to the battery. Um, also wanted to show the strap. Uh, how I'm going to run the strap. Uh, if you'll notice that it will come. It will glide right up under the uh, PDB. With no problem so you will be able to remove it remove it uh, easily and replace it in case of a, a battery strap break so that's kind of my plan for the real AC X10 and the Omnius um, uh, F3 or F4 Pro